right, everybody. It is uh, November 18th, 2018. Uh, we're getting going for the day. It's about 10.30ish, 11 o'clock. Uh, we got 39 rows left to do, and then Harvest 2018 is going to be over. So I'm going to make it short. we got to get done. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to... We're not going to unload on the go because there's a bunch of mud we're driving through. But uh, other than that, everything's good. So let's get going. We're on uh, loading into the truck right now. This is the first dump for the day. Uh, there should be one more after this, and then we're done. We only got about 15 rows left, maybe. We're pretty close. My little cousin showed up to ride, so I'll have to <clears throat> have to shut you guys off for a little bit. But uh, I'll try to fly the drone on the last three rows. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But yeah, we're wrapping up harvest here. We are almost done. Almost done.
Well, we may have gotten all the corn out, but we got a couple more things to do. And uh, first one for me, I gotta get this. I gotta get a wagon that's down there so I can get to test this thing out. There. Okay. So this is the John Deere 7215R. Um, supposedly, it is the new big tractor on the farm. Started as a demo, but it sounds like uh, it's gonna be purchased. So this is gonna be the new big tractor on the farm. I haven't gotten to use it yet, so this is kind of fun. It's got an active seat, which is nice. I've never rode in an active seat, you can really swivel there is a couple monitors left here from the other owner he hasn't grabbed them yet but uh they'll do that they're gonna take some stuff off this is a really nice tractor it's uh if any of you remember that small utility 4320 um it's trading for that not the 7800 so uh, i know a lot of uh a lot of fans of this channel love the 7800 just like I do. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not getting traded off. It's staying here for the power it's got yet. It's just a two wheel drive, so it's kind of a problem to uh, work with right now. But uh, it it's a good, uh, good auger tractor for the most part. So it might do auger, I don't know. And it's kind of a backup tractor just in case one of the big ones go down like this or the 79. So, always got an extra tractor laying around. So yeah, there's a wagon. One of the Brent wagons is still down here, so we gotta go pick that up, bring it back. And then uh, we got one more load of corn to get out of the grain cart at the field. Get that unloaded into the bin. Then uh, we gotta bring the combine and the cart home. And then uh, pretty much done for now. Hmm. I don't know if any of you have really ever seen this part of the field before, but these are farmable terraces on this side because it's so steep. So those kind of help with the erosion, especially with this year with all the rain we got gotta have those so yeah There's a certain way to shift this thing, and uh, it's kind of confusing, I guess. <laughs> Gotta get used to it. But uh, yeah, it's basically your modern day power quad, quad range, whatever you want to call it. Smooth shifts much smoother than the 78 does.
course, kind of harder to slam, too, I guess. Okay. jerks the wagon around though that's a little uh jerks it around a little bit when you're getting going other than that pretty nice all right we're at the farm uh i'm gonna pull this in looks like grandpa's finishing up the truck load and then uh, we'll get going back to the field all in all this tractor rides really smooth a lot smoother than the 7800 does i think it's the active seat and uh just overall the suspension is really good in this tractor my only complaint is the shifter is really high up from the throttle and my arm gets kind of tired from shifting up here all the time so uh i'll oh, we'll slow down um yeah so the throttle is a little far from the shifter, which is just my only complaint. Everything else is pretty good in this tractor, so. Other than that, this tractor is pretty cool. I must say, I've kind of wanted to drive an R-Series for a while, and now I've gotten to. It does really jerk the wagons around though when you shift down. I don't know if that's just me having the throttle a little high up, but uh, other than that, yeah, this tractor is really cool. Let's see if it yells at me again. There, got it that time. It takes a little practice, but uh, I do like this tractor. All right, see you guys out at the field. I'm not going to record much on this uh, last unload because I got to get everything off the cart and onto the truck and that's going to be kind of tough. So I got to concentrate, but uh, yeah, this is the last load and uh, we're done. Got the whole load off, so uh, we're set to go. Yeah, other than that, all we gotta do now is get the cart and combine home and then we're set. Take a look in there. That's a lot of corn. Uh, this is a 7,000 bushel bin, so there's about, I don't know, probably around 7,000. Maybe. They're all full, so that's good. Good harvest.
Get it out of Dodge. That's a wrap on harvest. Let's get going. All right, we just got back to the farm and uh, give a little rundown here. 6140D on the grain auger there. That's done pretty good this year. Uh, still kind of a lemon auger though. Sheared four bolts this year. <laughs> uh, they just kind of fell out actually. Uh, got the old faithful 7800 here. Uh, might have reached its final days on the wagons. Now moving to miscellaneous, I guess. We got the three Brent 644s. Those have been fun to use. Really enjoyed using those. 7215R. And, of course, the 7930 with the J&M cart. Uh, 750 that's what we just pulled home so yeah pretty nice uh season it uh a little rough at the beginning and in the middle and the whole time from snow rain mud it's been a battle uh really thankful to have this year over with we only got done with harvest a few days late probably uh five days later than usual or one week i don't know uh but yeah it's been a good year um besides all the crap so with that well got one final ear of corn here well thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed these videos and uh i hope you guys enjoyed what i got i guess which I just said that, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, hope to see you next year in the 2019 harvest season.